Hello, welcome to Sparky Help, this time a cable tray reducer in 180 seconds. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. So here we have our tray, doesn't matter what we're reducing do, we're going to go from 100mm down to 50 and we're going to put an angle. The angle you decide is entirely up to you, whatever you think looks best. So we're going to offer it up, make sure it lines up and we're going to mark it. I'm going to turn it over though, just do from the back because it's easier just to get the saw in without cutting the edges. So I'm going to line it up just to pick up those two holes, probably end up drilling anyway. And I'm going to mark it, just so happens I've happened to picked it at a hole. I could have moved it along, but it doesn't matter. So that's just marking the edge. And I'm going to choose an angle, and it's my angle, it doesn't matter. I'm just happy to pick that one, because it looks about right. And then what we're going to do, that line is going to be where it's going to set down to, so we're going to measure that line. And here it is approximately 100mm, just under. And then we're going to measure that along the top. Well, I say the top, it's the bottom, but it will become the top because this is the back, remember. And we've got that mark. And now we're going to put a straight edge to the point where they cross, which happens to be, for my example, happens to be in that hole there. And we're going to mark that. That's where our three lines are going to be cut. What we mustn't do is cut the lip, so goggles on, and cut that one. And then cut that line, making sure we don't cut the return edge, we want to keep it as one piece. Which is why I turned it over, it's just easier. And then finally that cut there, all the way across, remember do not cut that last piece off. So that's that. As always, this is here to protect cable tray, or to support cable tray. This is here to support the cable, so let's file it up. Let's speed this up, you get the idea. We're going to file it up, make sure there's no sharp edges, A for the cables, and for us. That then will bend and fit down in that location there, giving that edge. Which allows your bit of tray to go on there. Finally, the last thing we're going to do is put some bolts through there to hold it all together. And then quickly then drill a few holes because the tray is folded in underneath itself. A couple of nuts bolts as required. And you install it and there you go. I hope that helps. Spark help. Thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe.